welcome back to my channel. Today I'm exploring a trend. A trend that I hadn't quite divulged, indulged, hadn't quite explored, <laughs> hadn't quite got into yet. And that is the patent trend. It's pretty much everywhere, or vinyl, whatever you want to call it. Really that kind of shiny material, and you see lots of people wearing those kind of squeaky trousers. I really like the way it looks on girls, but I felt like, I just don't know if that's something I want to be in. Is that comfortable? I hear your knees squeaking. Do I want my knees to squeak when I walk? Do I want to be like crispy when I bend? Don't know. So I thought today I would explore the trend, pick up a couple of pieces that are in line with the patent slash vinyl trend, and show you how I would style them and yeah, how to wear them. The first piece I actually already had and it is this kind of shiny patent vinyl uh, Baker Boy hat from River Island. This was in a recent haul. I absolutely love this. I feel like this adds some edge and some interest to an outfit. In this video I paired it with a really kind of simple ordinary everyday outfit. I wore my white jeans, also from River Island, a kind of knitted top. I'm actually wearing that top backwards. It's reversible so you can wear the knot at the front or at the back, which I love. That is also from La Sula. This is kind of a very everyday outfit, really comfortable, very white, very kind of nude, neutral colors. Then to add a little bit of interest and a little bit of kind of edge to the outfit, I've added on this shiny Baker Boy hat. I love the way that Baker Boy hats look. They're so on trend at the moment, they're really chic. They also help people like me who are trying to grow out their short hair um, to cover it. <laughs> so I really like these kind of hats. I do just think they add something to every single outfit. The fact this is shiny, also just brings me so much pleasure. I just feel like it's just that little bit more interesting. So if you're too scared to add patent and vinyl into a big piece of clothing that you're wearing, try it in an accessory. Try it in a hat, a bag, maybe even some shoes. I might have some shoes to show you. But this is like a really easy way to edge yourself in and see whether you feel comfortable in that shiny, shiny material. Next up, I thought I would show you something new, something that I feel I'm definitely gonna keep. I don't know, this will suit everybody, not everyone's gonna like these, but I really enjoy these. These, they are almost over the knee, they like reach my knee. So that's the only thing that does slightly annoy me, I wish they were a little bit longer, but I still love them. From Miss Selfridge. Love them. I believe I got them in a size six. I always get boots in size six. I'm more of a size five kind of gal, but size six and boots. Oh, the fact that this heel isn't too massive. So they're really actually very, very comfortable. I don't know if they look that comfortable, but they really are. And I'm awful at walking in heels. And I've had this like ruched detailing here, bright red and shiny. So obviously a massive statement. So if you're scared of the vinyl slash patent trend that you're trying to edge it in your accessories, this might not be the way to go. But if you aren't scared, this is the way to go. I feel like I could pair this with some black tight leggings and a turtleneck if I want to wear these really casually, but I also wanted to show you two other ways that I would wear them with dresses. So the first way is with something really clashing. So one of my favorite dresses at the moment, which is from H&M, is this pink floral kind of floaty dress. And I think it would look really cute with some over knee red boots, especially if it's like nice and clashing and lots of statement prints, textures, colors going on. Then the second way is with another one of my favorite dresses which is kind of more in tune with the vinyl patent trend and that is my faux leather dress that I bought from Zara a long time ago. I wish I could link that for you guys but it was a long time ago. It's really flattering. It's kind of a very easy dress to wear but it really does make a statement so I feel like with these boots it went very nicely. It was more plain than the first outfit but if you're looking for something really every day, I would say black leggings, turtle neck, and these. Next up, if you're looking to try the patent vinyl trend in a big way, try a coat. I think these kind of coats, like trench coats, are so cool. They're not as like, I mean, they are a bit noisy, but they're not as squeaky and crispy as the trousers. The trousers are very stiff. I actually bought a pair of pink patent vinyl trousers and they were horrendous. It took me so long to get them on and it just felt awful. It just felt really, really, really wrong. This coat is really kind of flexible, comfortable, not too stiff. It's from Mango. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much it was, but I will leave everything in the description box down below. A trench coat. Love the fact that it's really nice and oversized. What size did I get this in? One size. Is it one size? Really? Weird. I think it's one size. Um, but it has poppers to do it up and it has a really nice belt to cinch in the waist. So if this is really big, you can cinch in the waist. And I like the oversized look. I think black is a really easy option. It's not too crazy if you're too scared to go really over the top. But this is quite an over the top trend, so what can you do? Underneath, I just wore the same outfit as I had before because obviously you'd be wearing this over anything to go out. 
Also rainproof, so very good for England. Okay, so the next coat is from Zara. No, it's not. <laughs> I always say Zara. I think it's because I've got Zara on the brain. I look just like Zara. This is from ASOS. Just this really nice purple. It's less shiny, but I really like it. It has kind of straps around the arms. I just paired this with actually this kind of knitted pink jumper. I just feel like this is quite a casual outfit and this is probably how I would wear it, just over something comfortable because you're gonna take your coat off at some point, so. This is what I would be wearing underneath. It has a tight belt to cinch it in again, and it has like a nice buckle detailing on this one, which I really like. Love that it's not too shiny, and again, it's flexible, so you're not walking around in like a really stiff straight jacket, which I have to say that the trousers were horrendous, like horrendous. I don't know if you guys have any like vinyl trousers. Let me know where you got them from and if they're comfortable, because I could not do that to myself. I could not go out in a pair of trousers like that. Also, they barely went over my bum. They also flatten your bum because they're so stiff. I think this is really cute. Paired with like a normal everyday outfit. This I think also would be really nice in the evening. I think the black shiny one, if you're going out in the evening, might look like you're gonna like whip it off and have nothing underneath. Whereas this one is kind of less OTT and would look nice over like a sparkly dress or something silver for the evening time. That brings us to the end of my video. I hope you guys liked this and it gave you some inspiration on how to wear patent slash vinyl. I don't know what you guys want to call it. I feel like it's quite a fun trend. It's not necessarily one that I think is too comfortable and I'm kind of about comfort and style. So that might not be for me, but I have to say that the coats are really comfortable. Obviously accessories are less uncomfortable. I'm really into those boots. So the stuff that I picked, not too uncomfortable. As a whole, the trend I think is a bit crispy, squeaky, not me. But let me know if you guys have any good vinyl slash patent pieces and where you got them from. And I will leave everything linked in the description box down below. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time.